guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing, and have we just discovered the greatest single drill ever? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, today we are talking about one of the best drills that you can use if you are just getting started on the Concept 2 machine, or any rowing machine for that matter, to help you understand how to connect to the machine. And this is one of the oldest drills that you will find even in the rowing world. Uh, it's basically called legs only and legs and body. What you are doing is attempting to isolate just the legs and then that transition from leg into hip swing so that you can understand the importance of the legs being our 60% driver of force in the stroke into our hips, our 30% driver. Really the two largest portions of the stroke of the three, once you add in the arms, you get 10%. So this really emphasizes the 60% th uh, in the legs, 30% in the hips. Now, our wonderful, wonderful coach here, Ryan, is going to take us through this. Um, so we're going to start with legs only. Now. What we're going to start with uh, is called the top half, right? Yep. Top half, legs only rowing. Now, what he's basically going to do is only extend his legs to basically half extension. And all he's doing is sliding back and forth, practicing using the legs to grab tension and start the push of the drive. Now, one note here that we would add is when you are getting started, I believe and I'm a firm believer that using a slightly higher damper setting can be beneficial if you struggle with finding engagement to the machine. If you find engagement no problem and you don't have handle slippage, meaning the handle moves without you getting tension, um, if you don't have that issue, don't worry about taking the damper up. But if you do have that issue, bring that damper setting up. Give yourself a little bit more tension so that the legs can feel that push against the machine. So, Ryan is going to start at the catch in this drill and he's just going to drive the top half of the legs or drive the legs to about half extension. So a way that I like to run through this drill is taking 10 strokes at the top half. From there, we are going to go to the full leg. So now he's gonna extend the leg fully, but still keeping that trunk closed. Now he's practicing catching the tension and accelerating the handle with the legs. So then we'll take 10 more strokes there. And after we've taken those 10 strokes, we're gonna add in the hip swing. So he's gonna add in the hip swing here. Good, legs are, or arms are still straight. Now he's learned how to get the tension with the legs. He's learned how to accelerate. And now he's learning how to swing the hips open. Guys, this is so valuable if you are just getting started using the rowing machine because so few people learn how to really use that leg to push into the machine and it is the biggest force driver for you. Thank you, Ryan. Yeah. Um, Brian, let's seal that one like we always do. All right. Perfect, thank you. Guys, this is one of the best drills that you can run, especially if you are getting started on the machine. It teaches you to use your legs, it teaches you to use your hips, and honestly, that's the biggest benefit of this machine is it allows you to use your legs and hips it works the legs, it works your back, it works your butt, all the things that people love to work, this machine does it, but it won't do it unless you know how to move properly. So, learn to do it. This drill is a great way to get started. Legs only, legs and body, it's fantastic. Guys, this is Dark Horse Rowing. As always, we appreciate you checking us out on YouTube. Make sure that you sign up for our newsletter as well on our website, The Hustler's Guide to Rowing, where you will get our latest video and blog article Every single what morning, Ryan? Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning in your inbox. Guys, we appreciate you. We love you. We'll see you on the other side. Thanks, guys.